So uh, A3, uh, A3 is the calculator assignment. And I do not want you to make me a calculator that is the equivalent of the calculator that many of you are thinking here. That's not the calculator I want. What, what kind of calculator I actually want is something along the lines of if you Google like mortgage calculator or temperature conversion calculator or car payment calculator, you can choose. So you could do like a currency converter that takes dollars and changes it to like yen. Temperature conversion, Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit where, where the user enters something. An interest calculator, car payment calculator, any other calculator that's along those lines. You must take at least one piece of input one or two pieces of input from the user and take that data and do something with it. So you will find out by looking online or if you happen to know the formula, you'll find out what is the formula and you'll figure out how to express that formula in Python using the mathematical symbols and the order of operations that we just talked about. You'll do the calculation, print the result, and as you're developing the program, what I would say, you, you start out with some test cases where you assign the numbers, and then you're going to add user input. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And then you have the conversion. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so I'm going to let's get the average of, and you can't use this, by the way, it's cheating. Don't be a cheater. You're just cheating yourself. Okay, so my calculator is going to be, let's get the average of three numbers. And I'm going to put a blank line at the end of this. And the way I do that is by, by putting this backslash n, that's called the new line character. It's an invisible character that prints another empty line beneath this one. So it'll give me some space. Now I'm going to go str input. Uh, let's go uh, n1 equals, let's just say 5. str n2 equals 10. str n3 equals 15. What's the average of those three numbers? The average is 10, right? Because you've added them all, all three together and divide by three, you get 10. Uh, so the average is str n1 plus str n2 plus str n3 divided by three. And then print FL average. Okay, so this is like stage one of my development. First thing I want to do is I want to put in, ideally, numbers that are give me a predictable result. I know the average of those three numbers is 10. And so when I set up the formula, if it gives me 10, then I know I've got the formula right. That's sort of step one of thinking this through. So here I go. I run that. Let's get the average of three numbers and 10. Cool. So far, so good. Now that I've got the formula dialed in, I'm going to change this to use user input. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these to float on the fly. Now, let's pay attention to where I'm doing this because I'm going to stack formulas. So I'm going to say input give me a number, okay? 
So that's going to return what? When the user enters a number there, what is it going to, what type is it going to be? Every time a user enters anything, it is a string. Don't forget that, super important. So just because I called it a float here doesn't make it a float yet. What do I have to do? I have to use the float function to convert it. And I'm gonna do it on the fly in one line so that it is going to be immediately converted to a float and put into that variable. The downside to doing that is if I have a user who puts in anything else other than a number, I'm going to get an error. But right now, for the purpose of creating the simple program, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to pretend like the user is going to follow directions, which is something you can never count on when developing any piece of software ever. But for this case, we will. So I'm going to wrap that function, the input function, in a float function. So what that means is input is going to ask them, give me a number. The user inputs a, inputs a number, digits, but are still a string, which gets passed to float. It converts it to a float, and then it puts it in that variable. Okay? Now, because I wrote this in a generic way, pro tip, I did it on purpose. I can copy and paste my code. And first number, second number, third number. Always be thinking ahead. And these are underlined because those variables don't exist now. So I'll just change those to floats. So it matches up. Okay, now I have a whole thing here, but there's one more thing I want to do. I want to take this and print a really nice formatted string. So I'm going to put make an F string here. I'm going to start with a line break because I want to put a space below when the user inputs stuff. And then I'm going to say the average of FLN1, FLN2, and FLN3. This is getting kind of long. So I'm going to triple quote this and make it a two line string. Okay, so I can hit that, put the triple quotes at the end. It allows a string to span multiple lines without having issues. Okay, and then I'm going to, is, it doesn't have to be this way, but I'm just, because I'm kind of running out of space here, it, it's a, a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to push this down here too. There we go. Is and then I'm going to put the answer, which is FL average. There we go. Okay. So now let's pull this down so we can get the whole family in here. All right. So for, let's run through this program, what it's going to do. Line one, it says, let's get the average of these three numbers. At the end, gives an extra line break. Line two, three, and four, ask the user to input a number, takes that input, converts it to a float, puts it in a variable. Line six, and by the way, a lot of people like get hung up on me leaving blank lines between things. Um, Python doesn't care. That's really just for me. I tend to like some white space in my programs between sections or just so I can visually organize things. Totally up to you how you do that. I, that's just my preference. When I move from one thing to another, I often leave an extra extra line. It doesn't, you don't have to, you don't have to comment it. Python just ignores it if it's empty. So line six, uh, FL average contains the formula for the average, takes the three floats, adds them together, and then divides by three. Now I have to have the parentheses here because PIMDAS, right? Otherwise it would divide FLN three by three and then add it to the other two. 
So I'm forcing it using the parentheses to do things in the order I want. And then I have a triple quote F string where I'm putting these values in and giving the user a nice formatted message that makes sense. So let's run this and see if it does what I told it to. First number. So I'm going to start out with my test numbers again. 5, 10, 15. Okay. So the average of 5.0, 10.0, and 15.0 is 10.0. Ta-da! And notice that it keeps this line break from here down. So when I triple quote something, the line breaks that I put in there are kept. So it allows me to form to do some basic formatting in a section of text without um, without having to put in any extra code. Okay, so that is really, in a nutshell, how you're going to approach this assignment. You don't have to gather three inputs from the user. All that's really required is one. So you put you can do one. Let's say the temperature in Celsius, you can convert it to Fahrenheit and say that the temperature of blah, blah, blah in Celsius is blah, blah, blah in Fahrenheit. That, that's an acceptable solution that satisfies the needs. Uh, can you do more? Always. Can you be creative? Of course. I encourage that. I, I love to see creativity. I think it helps you learn and it helps me stay entertained when I'm doing all that grading. So win-win. Anyway, that is assignment three. Um, you are welcome to also work on assignment two if you haven't done that yet. And um, we actually have almost an hour to work today. So mission accomplished, got through it quickly, and let's get going on that. If you need help, please let me know. I'm going to be working on editing video so I can get that online as quickly as possible up here. But if I'm not looking up and you need my attention, like clear your throat or yell at me or something. Please don't throw anything.